Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Carolyn and today I have another reading for you guys. Today's reading is going to be a message for the collective and this is going to be a timeless message meaning whenever you find it is when this video was meant for you to see. So we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed and Temperance reversed. So I feel like there's been issues and conflicts in your life with finances. I feel like there has been a lot of arguments and tensions between you and people and this has to do with money or some sort of financial situation. I feel like you're starting to feel like you're not happy with where you're at in life. You've been feeling a lot like things are out of balance and like they don't really make sense for you as a person anymore. I feel like this Nine of Pentacles is saying that like all this hard work that you're putting into something doesn't really feel like it's paying off and it's making you feel very unhappy with your life. Um, you don't feel like you're able to enjoy your life how you want to. And that's because you're not in sync with what your soul wants to do. I feel like your soul isn't happy. I feel like you're not at peace and content with your life right now. I feel like you have a lot of issues when it comes to what you want to do for the long term, um, what your goals are. Are. It's like you thought you had this path, you thought you had this plan, and now all of a sudden it's not making any sense anymore. And so you don't really know what to do with that information. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm unhappy. Now what do I do? And so you're just lost and confused on why you're feeling this way, why it's hit you all of a sudden, um, and what you can do to fix it. And so then you have the Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and Queen of Swords reversed. And so with that Queen of Swords, I feel like one of the main things you have to do is just disconnect, is to walk away and be like, you know what? I don't need to stay here anymore. I don't owe it to anyone. It's really about doing what your soul wants because with that Queen of Wands, it's having confidence and believing in yourself, feeling happy, just being very vibrant is what I'm feeling like. Um, I feel like you are meant to get what you want, to achieve what you want because you have that Ten of Pentacles. It's like if you leave this situation where you're not happy, like you don't have to have a plan. You just have to disconnect and walk away from this current situation and follow your passion. Your soul is going to lead you to a place where you have money because there's going to be a new opportunity of emotional fulfillment for you. I feel like this is a message that it's like whatever passion project you have, whatever is currently making your soul happy, there's going to be a way to make money from that and you need to follow that. I feel like you have doubts that it's going to work and I feel like you're fearful that you're going to make this big life decision and it's going to backfire and it's not going to pay off and that you're going to have more issues and conflict in your life and you're not going to have the money that you need. But this is confirmation from your spirit guides that there is money in this. You might have to do research. You might have to work out how you're going to make money from it. But if you follow your passion, if you follow your soul, new doors and opportunities are going to lead their way to you. You just have to be open and ready for them. And so what spirit wants you to do? You have the three of wands. They want you to go on this new journey. They want you to find what your soul is looking for in the back of the deck is the high priestess. This is confirmation from spirit that your soul already knows what to do. Your soul is going to lead you to money. It's going to lead you to prosperity. The reason why you're unhappy is because this is not in alignment with your soul and your soul purpose. You have so much more to do and you are not allowing yourself the opportunity to do it, to put passion into things. You need to go out. You need to get it. You can't have fears anymore. You need to just go and do it. And so you have the King of Wands reversed and the Strength card. And so for those of you who you are at a current place of employment that you're unhappy with, I feel like this could be the energy of your boss where you just feel like they are very demanding of you. They don't appreciate you. They're not giving you the energy that you need to to feel happy, to feel the strength within yourself. And so this is saying that you need to let go of that. And others, this is saying that this is your actual ego. This is your own fears. You need to let that all go. You need to let your ego fall. I feel like maybe you guys, you could be going through a dark night of the soul and that is what's triggering this change in your life, but also that strength card is telling you that you have the strength to overcome this challenge, that you have the strength to make it through this, that you are capable of leaving this current situation that's not emotionally fulfilling and you can follow your passions, you can find money and prosperity through that and you can disconnect from the things that aren't making you happy. Because if you stay here and you stay in this place where you just don't feel happy, where you are not feeling like you're getting what you need to, you are going to burn out and it's going to be 10 times harder for you to heal yourself afterwards. If if you leave now, yes, it might feel scary, it might feel risky, but it's not going to be because that leap of faith is going to pay off because your spirit guides want you to do it. Your spirit guides are not going to let you fail. They are going to have your back 100% of the way. And even if it feels like there's going to be moments of doubts where it's not going to work out, at the last minute, it will work out. And you just need to have faith in yourself and know that if you're putting in the hard work, it's going to pay off. Now, if you leave your job and you don't do any work and you just try and say, okay, now money's going to come to me, it's not going to work that way. You have to be willing to to 
put in the work, put in the time to make your passion project into a reality that can actually bring you money. But if you take the time to do that, and if you allow yourself to do what's actually fulfilling to you, you're going to get that. And the more you allow yourself to feel this joy, to be emotionally fulfilled, you're gonna open more and more doors to different opportunities that's gonna help expand this. And the back of the deck energy is the lovers. And so this is definitely confirmation that this is all about the choices that you make. That spirit is pushing you in the direction you're meant to go into, but ultimately it's up to your choice. It's up to your free will. Whatever you decide is where your life is going to end up, but it's just about allowing your soul to be happy. What's going to make your soul feel free. And so this is just a message for the collective that it's like if you feel stuck, if you feel stagnant and you feel like you can't get out of this, you can. You need to follow what your passion is telling you no matter how scary it is because you're ready for this new opportunity. The more you hold back, the more you're letting this new opportunity pass you by and then you're going to have regret for it. If you allow yourself to take this journey to learn new things, you're going to feel so much more fulfilled. So if you feel like this video resonated, let me know in the YouTube comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up. I post four videos a week, so if you like to see those, hit subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on my next post. I'll see you in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.